Hi guys, my name is Bill. In this video, I'm gonna show you how and why you need to replace a circuit breaker in your electrical panel. Okay, so there's two main reasons why you would want to replace or need to replace a circuit breaker. One being if the breaker is not putting any power out. Now what we're looking at here is an example of how to test a breaker for power. Now this breaker's on, our meter set to volts AC. I'm gonna to touch one lead to the neutral wire here and the other one on the screw to the breaker. Now we're getting 126 volts. That means this breaker is putting power out. Now if this breaker was in the on position, which I'm gonna turn it off for, for the example here, but if this was still on and we tested the screw and there was no voltage, well then the breaker's bad and should be replaced. And number two is if the breaker's tripping at a lower current than what it's rated for. So if you have a 20 amp breaker that can run 16 amps continuously and it's tripping at say five amps after running for 10 or 15 minutes, then you would need to replace that breaker. So I put a link in the description for a video on how to test the amperage on your breaker if you need to do that. So make sure you check that out after this video. Now, before I show you how to replace this breaker, let me give you your safety talk. If you're not comfortable or you're scared to work in your panel, just don't do it. Call an electrician, that'll, that'll solve you some problems of hurting yourself. So, but if you do have some confidence and you feel like you can do this, make sure you turn the power off to the panel before you work on it. There's no good reason to do it while the panel's hot. Now on a sub panel, you can shut that, power, that panel completely off with a breaker on your main panel. So the panel that I'm working with in this video is representative of a sub panel. So I can hit a breaker and turn that one completely off or use my little cord that I have powering it. Now, if it's the panel in your home, the main panel, you wanna shut the main breaker off, but keep in mind that the two wires that feed that main breaker that you shut off are still hot. Everything below that main breaker will be dead and you will be able to get your hands in there and work. And another tip for you while you're working in the panel, treat it as if it were still hot. Only touch absolutely what you need to touch and be absolutely careful when you do it. So with that being said, let me show you how to change this breaker. Okay, so with this being the breaker that we're gonna change, the panel's completely dead. Now on most breakers, you grab from the center, you pull it to the outside of the panel, and it'll unhook. And then you can just pull it out. Once you have the breaker out of the panel, you can use your flathead screwdriver and loosen up the screw on the edge of the breaker and pull your wire out. Now I've removed all the breakers from this to give you a good look at what's inside here. Pay attention to the little hook right here and this flat little bar right here on the bus bar. Now this panel is dead so we can touch whatever we want. On your panel, you don't want to do that at all. Don't even touch these. There's no good reason to. But to show you what you're looking at when you try to hook the new breaker in, that's why I'm showing you this. Little hook and this little, little bus bar piece. So on the back of this breaker, we have the little notch right here. That's gonna go in here. And then we have this little slot with a metal contact that's gonna go over top of this little bar. So you wanna start with the hook first. Then press it over top of the bar. The easiest thing to do before you actually put the breaker in would be to reinstall the wire while the breaker's out and you can easily get the wire in and make sure it's completely inserted into the little slot. And you want to make sure that's tight but not overly tight and you want to make sure that the rubber insulation is not being pinched by the clamp when you tighten the screw down because that breaker will get loose over time and it'll get it'll create a lot of heat from a bad connection and you'll burn up your new breaker and now that you have the wire on that makes it a lot easier to reinstall the breaker then you don't have to try to fight the wire to get it inside now with the new breaker installed and the power still off to the panel this would be a good time to put the cover back on now before you turn the power back onto this panel turn all the breakers off and then go ahead and hit your breaker on your main panel 
or if this is the main panel, turn the main breaker on with all the breakers off. And then start turning your circuits back on. And now you can see that we have power out of our new breaker. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful and it gives you the confidence you need to go ahead and replace a breaker if that's what you need to do. Make sure you check out the links in the description for the videos that are helpful to this one to show you why you would need to replace the breaker. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.